Hey, true believers, Woody here with another action figure review. Today we are going to be looking at the Epic Hacks Barbarian Deathmonger. This is by Boss Fight Studio. Um, this is just a really cool skeleton action figure I've been wanting to share with the channel. Um, I was really excited when this came out and I'm just super excited to share it with all of you. So, uh, at the time of this recording, this is available on BossFightStudio.com. I'm sorry, BossFightShop.com. Also available on Big Bag Toy Store. But of course, make sure first and foremost to support your local comic book and toy store, wherever you like to pick up your comic and figures. I originally got this as a pre-order through um, Big Bad Toy Stores, and this arrived at my house um, in April of 2023. And soon after this one came out, they actually had announced another line that's going to go along with these. So this first wave is kind of unique. These are six inch action figures, which if you're uh, familiar with any of the boss fight hacks action figures, they, those normally come in a four inch style. So this is one of the first times they've released a six inch. And this wave came out with uh, this skeleton, which is the barbarian. And he also had a couple of friends that came out with him. So there was a line of four different figures. And uh, like I was saying, when this one finally arrived at my property, they had just announced a second wave. That one is also uh, four different skeletons, but um, each skeleton is unique and has their own kind of style or character set. If you're familiar with Boss Fight Studios and especially their Hacks line, um, these are really great figures because all of their parts are kind of interchangeable. So the clothing can be removed, the accessories can be removed, and you can actually swap them with other figures, which is a really unique um, and fun, fun way to do your action figures. So let's kind of go over the box. I love the art that is here on the box. Real cool, kind of almost 1970s, kind of heavy metal movie style. I really enjoy that. Turning around to the back. Epic Hacks. Hacks stands for Highly Articulated Character Kit System. And that's kind of what I was telling you guys about how the clothing, accessories, and all that is removable, and you can swap those out for different parts. Today we're going to be looking at this Barbarian Deathmonger. And here you can kind of see the other people that came out in that wave. There was a pirate, there was a gladiator, and then there was a grim specter. And all four of those were cool. I'll try to get a better shot of that so you can see that better. Um, we do have an, a unique dialogue all about the Barbarian itself. I will get a closer fo uh, photo of that, and you can read that at your leisure. All right, let's get this bad boy out of the package and have a closer look at him. Before we do that, though, I will point out um, one disappointment is we have this beautiful cover art, but this is just a blister pack that is attached directly to the cardboard. So... It is a little bit difficult to get this out of the package without destroying this beautiful art. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cut open the bottom here and see if we can just slide it out. Now here is the fully clothed Barbarian out of the package. This guy is really excellent. I love uh, these fantasy inspired action figures and this guy is really awesome. There's lots of things to love about this figure and a few things that kind of got on my nerves and we'll go over that in just a moment. Like I was saying earlier, this is one of Boss Fight Studios first six inch figures or a one twelfth scale. And it's awesome. For years, they've been doing just four inches, which are awesome. They're very articulated. Like I said, a lot of the clothing and accessories is uh, interchangeable so you can swap them for different pieces and they have a whole line of all kinds of neat stuff a lot of it is more fantasy based so you have more uh, skeletons and monsters and and knights and um, stuff like that but this is one of their their first six inches and I specifically wanted this one mainly for the skeleton so let's get him down off the spinner I'm gonna remove some of the clothing and we're gonna talk about the articulation and all of the accessories that come with the Barbarian Deathmonger. All right, so here is the Barbarian Deathmonger without any of his clothes. So we just have a straight up naked bone boy up here now. 
And this is actually the real reason why I wanted to get this figure. Um, I wanted a fully articulated skeleton that I could use for all kinds of different uh, setups. Um, and there's quite a few on the market. There's actually several skeleton action figures on the market right now. This one from Boss Fight Studio um, is actually a little bit lower on the price point. So that appealed to me being on a budget. So this guy, he is about $10 cheaper than some of the other action figures you'll see out there. And uh, he's probably a quarter of the price of the Golden Axe um, skeleton action figures. And again, there are some awesome things about this figure and some things that are kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but before we get into his articulation, let's go over some of the accessories. So obviously he comes with some clothing. This is his little uh, kind of loincloth or, or fur, fur belt. The paint apps on this are excellent. You can see on there, there's scuff marks, there's, there's dents. We do have kind of a metal sheen on the actual metal port portions. And then we have um, some various colors to make up the fur. Along with that, he does have a chest harness. This little piece is probably one of the hardest to actually get on and off of the body. Um, it does come with a little holster for his sword to go on his back. So that's pretty excellent. He also comes with a little helmet. This actually does not stay on the figure very well at all. Um, it is kind of form fitting but it falls right off and it does not stay on my figure very well at all. So that's one of our first little negatives about this guy. As far as weapons, he actually comes with several things and those are all very excellent. Starting first with his sword, very cool sword, even has little notches and gouges in the metal. Looks excellent, has a cool looking pommel also comes with a double-sided battle axe. This too has some notches and little dings in the metal. Kind of has a blue uh, tone to the metal. Maybe uh, kind of hinting at some magic or something in there. Leather gripped pommel. Looking awesome. He also has this Morning Star. Really excellent paintwork on the Morning Star. Very cool. And then last, he does come with these boots. And these boots, um, it, it is both a bottom portion, kind of a shoe portion, and an upper leg portion. These are actually uh, very difficult to get on and off. Chris will always remind you to uh, heat up your figures. This one, I actually have the opposite uh, result. This guy is very loosey-goosey. It's actually difficult to get him to stand on his own. And um, quite a few of the parts, especially the boots, just come right on and off and even fall off very easily. So that was kind of my next negative, was definitely some of these parts. A little difficult to maneuver and they do just fall right off. He does come with his own Epix hack stand, which I do definitely recommend because it is hard to get him to stand on his own. I do have him on the spinner right now and uh, I'm just crossing my fingers. He's not going to fall off anytime soon. But he does come with a stand. Um, the other note on the stand, it does have these notches in it. These fit well with the boots. They do not fit well with the uh, skeleton feet. So all that being said about the accessories, Let's uh, talk articulation. All right, we have our skeleton now down off of the spinner. Let's gonna talk articulation. So starting with the skull, we do have an articulated jaw, which is excellent. That is just so cool. I love that. You can make quite a few little different uh, facial expressions on this, and you can even, this easily kind of pops off so you could have it hanging sideways or you know just, just connect on one side, but it is, awesome to have a little articulated jaw. As far as the head, we do have that far down. Only that far up. That's a little bit of a disappointment. I would like to kind of see him go up farther, but obviously his head just pops off if you go too far. 
but that is about as far as we get going up. We do have a full range of motion as far as tilt and spinning, so you can really put him in any other combination there. As far as his torso, we do have an ab crunch. That is actually bending down here at the pelvis. The spine is separated in two spots. So we have a little bit of movement down there at the pelvis. And then we also have one kind of mid spine that allows him to rotate. Coming over to the shoulders, we do have a full 360. This also pivots up and down. We have a ball joint here at the elbow. So we do have just a single jointed elbow, but that does spin as well as bend. Same thing at the wrist, we have a ball joint here, so we do have a bend as well as a full spin. Coming down towards the pelvis, now this is kind of neat, we actually have some additional ball joints here. So there's a ball joint inside the pelvis and then there's another joint here at the top of the thigh. So this can actually move in a slight rotation here and then a slight uh, leg rotation or a full 360 here at the at the spinning. Um, the thigh does pivot in and out somewhat. We do have a double jointed knee. And then down at the ankle we have another ball joint. So here we have a full spin. We do have a tilt. And then you also have a, a sideways kind of rocker there. So very articulated, really, as far as the articulation goes, again, the only thing that disappoints me is that his, his head can't go farther back. I think with a little bit of heat and some modifications, I could get that to bend a little bit farther. So all in all, a very cool figure. There is not really much paint work as far as the bones go. You can see that they've done a little bit to darken the eyes, darken the nose, and then a little bit around the teeth. Pretty much the rest of it is a solid color. You see a little bit of discoloration there on the pelvis. That actually comes from his loincloth. When I first pulled that off, it was stuck a little bit. So that's not meant to be there. Other than that, he is just kind of a solid, um, almost khaki color, kind of a aged bone color. Really cool though. I am very happy with this figure. And again, I am happy with the price point. There are some other skeleton figures out there on the market, and uh, most of them are quite a bit more expensive than this little guy. It is definitely one of those things that you kind of get what you pay for. He is very lightweight. Like I said, a lot of the joints are pretty loose, so um, it is a little difficult to get him into poses and stay in poses. Also with his um, accessories, I've noticed that if, if you put him on your shelf holding these accessories, they do start to droop and bend over time. So you have to kind of rotate them so they start to bend the other way. Um, it is kind of soft plastic. All of that moves. You see how much it bends there. So that I might be able to, uh, to tinker with and fix as well. That is about it on this guy he is like i said he is pretty awesome and i am very happy to have a fully nude <laughs> or fully uh declothed skeleton action figure uh in, very enjoyable to work with and i foresee a lot of different things that i can do with this guy for a size comparison we have the epic hacks barbarian deathmonger standing next to the skeleton legion builder um, from Mythic Legions. And you can kind of see the difference in here. Definitely the Mythic Legions is a bit taller and quite a bit thicker, both bones and uh, armor wise. One of the comparisons I've seen to this skeleton is this is almost the perfect representation of a skeleton in 
a typical action figure. So if you put him next to a Marvel or a DC figure, you could imagine this is the actual skeleton that is inside their body. So he is fairly thin. He is a little bit shorter than maybe your typical action figure. And, uh, but he definitely fits in there with any of your six inch, one twelfth scale figures and will go along great in quite a few uh, display sets. So if you like what we've done here and you like this review, please, please take a moment, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the club channel out more than you can possibly know. And don't forget to hit that little barbarian bell. That way when we upload new content, you guys will be notified. I love this little figure. Um, really cool stuff on there. Like I said, there's a couple little gripes, but they're all very minor. As just a skeleton boy himself, he is fantastic. And I actually hope to get more to kind of build up my legion of the undead. Definitely go out and support your local comic or bookstores or toy stores to get one of these figures. Like I said, he is available on Big Bad Toy Store and from Boss Fight Studios themselves. That being said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep on reading and keep on hunting true believers. Photo Slideshow coming up next.